Hey everybody, back with another video. This is going to be a quick one actually. Um, in my last video I was testing a bunch of GORF boards um, for somebody else. I'll, I'll link to it <clears throat> just in case. But then that got me thinking and somebody commented about the pokey tr trick. Um, these aren't pokies obviously, but um, using the oven or heating up these custom chips to see if that would fix them. So I have three GORF game boards here. And I have three working custom chips that I know are working. But I'm going to verify it real quick. Um, I'm, because you only need the to boot and really test these customs on the game board. You only need it in X, the position X3, which is right here. This is X2. So I'm going to go through, test each one of these. Then I'm going to test each one of these. So I'll put B here and C there and D there. We'll record the symptom of each, and then we'll um, I'll clean the legs, see if it makes any difference. Uh, maybe deoxid the socket just to double check, clean the legs. If it does make a difference, we'll record that behavior, and then I'm going to heat up these customs and see if uh, if that makes a difference. So that's what this video is going to be about. Real quick. All right, if you can see this, this is game board one. Let's see if you can see that and custom chip E. Let's power it on. Looks good. Boshay player button. Pearl dot glory airs see and destroy the space dot it. <laughs> So we're only missing um, without having the Got you, space audit. As I've mentioned before, we're only missing one um, one sound, one channel of audio there. So we know this this custom is working correct. Alright, this is game board two. Custom chip A. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Let's power it on. I'm, I'm expecting all of these to work, obviously. All right, everything looks good there. Let's coin up. Okay, player button. Sounds identical. Robot warriors, see and destroy the space target. All right, everything looks good. All right, this is game board three. Chip um, F, chip F. So this should be the end of our control, I guess. Ensuring everything's working good. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, there's something going on with this one. I might have something wrong with this uh, game board. Let me uh, wrinkle throne. Let me double All check right, this. Game board three, custom chip A. Um, just swap the custom to see if the problem was if with the custom or the game board. Let's see. And it looks like it's the game board, which is better news for me. <clears throat> um, something's going on with this game board, so interesting. And it might be the star the star field maybe because that should have a star field behind it so it looks like and there's some audio issues on this game board it looks like I have to go back and look at my old videos because maybe I knew about this before on this game board and I didn't make a mark on it so something's wrong with this game board obviously I'm, I have no voice no audio at all and uh, known good custom chip so all right Come, we'll come back to that. That's not what the whole video is about, but I'll fix that too. All right, just for completeness, this is Game Board 2 with custom F that I haven't officially tested in this video anyway. So let me plug that in. And hopefully, hopefully this works, obviously. 
All right, yeah, there we go, the star field. So, yeah, there's something going on with that other board related to the star field and maybe some other stuff. We'll see. Okay, player button. Robot Warriors, see and destroy the space button. <laughs> So we know this custom in board works. All right, so we know game board one and two um, both work, and we're in this works custom E, F, and A all look good. But we got something going on with this game board here. Somewhere could be the speech chip is messed up as well. There could be several messed up chips actually. That's, that sucker looks pretty corroded right there. Yeah, there's some... Oh, there's a... U6 is missing. <laughs> no wonder this game board's not working. It doesn't have U6. Um, maybe I never had to order a replacement or something. Interesting. Alright, well, obviously that will be an easy fix. I'm actually missing a whole chip. All right, so what are we gonna do? All right, we're gonna put in B. No, we'll start with C and D because I think these are the worth, worse off. We'll put C and D in game board one and two. All right, rather than doing multi steps, I'm just, I'm gonna Dremel, just make sure I probably already did this on this chip C, which I know is suspect, but I just cleaned the chip legs. Hopefully you can see, I mean, it's, pretty decent right I'm gonna put that and I'll do the same thing to the D chip clean it up and then put it in this game board so I'm gonna do the Dremel right, first that's custom C in board one let's look at what it does here after now I don't think this works because I've tested this in the past yeah we got some weird some weird stuff going on you can see like Hopefully you can see that in the video. There's like the the um, characters are kind of sparkling or something. Sound is jacked up. And our, our background is totally jacked. Somebody had pointed this out um, on Mame World or something. But you can see this is supposed to be a blue, complete blue background, and you can hear the sounds are totally jacked up. The colors are messed up. Um, this this custom chip is doing something completely wacky with the with the game, audio wise as well as uh, graphic wise. This should be a blue background, not stars. The stars aren't supposed to be blue, so it's like the stars are blue, like the background should be. It's weird. All right, this is Game Board 2, Custom D, as in David, Custom D. Let's power it on. Whoa. That's not good. Listen to that. Totally jacked up. <laughs> yeah, not good, right? Okay, so I baked them in the oven for 325, uh, at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes, I think. And then I let them just sit in the oven, um, and I just removed them. It's been a, a, at least, whoops, what am I doing? Um, I've never used this temperature thing of this, my Bremen meter, so I figured I'd just measure it. It's been about, had to have been about... A good hour that they've been cooling off just in the oven as the oven cooled off I'm just holding my little temperature gauge on there but they're still warm not super warm but figured I would just use this real quick I was heating it up with um what the heck do you call it a heating gun but it just seemed like it was getting super hot and I just wanted to put it in the oven and let it not hold something. So I put it in the oven for, again, 25 minutes, 325 degrees. And if it screws up the chips worse, that's what it does, I guess, because I don't really, I mean, they're already bad. All right, that's, uh, hopefully you can see that. That's board one, chip C. Let's see how this thing works. Is it worse or better? After the oven. 
It is basically the same. <laughs> uh, still got the same issues. Yep, audio still sucks. No difference. Crazy. All right, well, let's try the other it's, one. It's uh, board two and um, chip D. And I was just playing puzzle bobble with my, with my kid, so. Let's, uh, hopefully this works. Nope, it's resetting. So this chip is jacked up. It's not making the terrible noises, but you can tell it's resetting, so. The heat did not work. Okay, I'm back at this. It's actually been, it's going to seem like one second for you guys, but it's actually been like six months since I've looked at this again. And I actually couldn't find the bad chips. But anyway, so if I just know that Chip C, Strange Characters, Resetting, chip, no, Chip D was resetting, Chip C, Strange Characters, and blue stars and stuff and I could not find these chips I was looking all over for them and I was found this video the video clips that I had done and now I'm back at this so all right so just to wrap up we need to test this B chip I don't know what's wrong with it I don't I think I watched all the video and I don't think we tested that I'm not sure what's wrong with it and board C I believe it works I replaced U6 um, I pointed that out in the video, and I'm going to test this board real quick. So let me go get the Gorf machine ready to go. We'll test game board 3 with chip A that we know works, and then we'll put in chip B game board 2 that we know works and just see what the symptom is there. Um, but we know the baking did not work, and I kept the two bad chips. I have no idea why I kept them, but... Anyway, so be okay, right game back. Game board three, um, chip A, chip A. So we this should work. Let's power it on. I'm actually in a weird spot. And it does look to be working. So. player There's a little bit of a. That's weird, right? Do you, that speech chip seems a little off. You hear it, you hear it whistling? Yeah, the vo the uh, speech chip sounds wacky. I'm going to swap out the speech chip real quick. Right, still, still same gore, game board. I swapped out the speech chip. That's not what this video is about, but I figured I'd do it real quick. Let's see. All right, there's Gorf. player button. Yeah, it does sound a little bit different. Robot Warriors, CA, destroy a space target. Uh, I don't know. Wait for me to sh get killed here. I don't know. I might have to come back. I'm not going to mess with it. Oh, come on. Galactic Defender, you are space target. Huh. Actually, maybe you don't hear it as much, and maybe it's... Too bad, space target. Try huh. again. I devour planes. Uh, I just don't remember now. That whistling, maybe you hear it more because you don't hear the dump, dump, dump noise because I don't have the other custom chip in there for the other part of the audio. So that's probably nothing. Okay, so game board three works. Let's go test the B right, chip. This is a game board two, which I know was working at least six months ago, and a chip B, if you can see that. Chip B with a little minus side. So I know something's wrong with it, but I just have no idea what. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe it's audio related. These uh, videos are as much for me as you guys because I can't keep track of what the heck's going on. Doesn't sound like there's any audio. No audio at all. Oh. No, no speech. So I think this custom, what is this at X3, also covers, has a separate output for the speech and it's, it's not working. There's no speech. Okay, I did, I didn't film it, but I put um, my chip A into game board two and I had speech and everything. So I know the speech issue is definitely with this custom chip B, but custom chip B did have audio. So what I was looking at is the schematic, and I know my schematic is not that great, but on IOX3, um, output 25 goes to um, the speech chip SC, or 5C01, or SC, no, SC01, yeah, that's an S, I guess. Um at X1 and it comes to this line that's called STB input 7. So I know it's not the board because the board works fine with the speech chip and so it has to be X3 but the audio is fine pin 24. So this B probably would work fine in my other chip my other game board just to make a complete game board but what I'm going to do is I'm going to I did not bake this one. I'm going to take a Dremel real quick to the legs and just clean them up and see if that's the problem. I don't know. It could be some inputs that are obviously driving that output at pin 25. I don't know. There's obviously multiplexed data lines and shit coming in here. I don't know if you can see that. But the outputs seem to be fine. And I think these other outputs at let's say S05 and S06 might have to do with the coin counters or some driving some lights or something. I'm not sure. It comes to these, this U6 and U7, which then looks like it's maybe coin counters in the drivers for the light board, maybe. I don't know. I have to, we'll have to look at that a little bit more, but it's definitely on this chip, so I just don't know if other things are not working correctly or if it's just that speech driver, which is pin 25. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna dremel it and we're right, gonna try dremel it. the legs. And I, I could tell that I had never done it before. I also had bought some different kind of deoxid, um, not the spray kind, this brush on kind. Um, and I also got picked up this kind as well. Now this is like a hundred percent or whatever solution D 100 L, but I got it with a needle applicator cause I was tired of spraying it and getting it all over the place. So I don't know. I just put that on there. Some people say deoxid's corrosive and you should, you shouldn't use it, whatever. I don't know. All right, let's okay, try it again. Game board, game board two, chip B, all right? Yeah with some deoxid and leg cleaning. Let's see if we got our speech back. Come on, work your magic, Dremel. player buddy. Magic. Dremel and some deoxid. Whoa. Not 100%. <laughs> oh, I thought the audio was working. Okay, I figured I'd give it one more go. I took the chip back out, dremeled it, cleaned the legs again, just to extra clean, hopefully. Game board three, chip B. Chip B, there we go. Let's cross our fingers. what we got see it's booting so you know the watchdog part of that chip is working correctly Porsche player button. 
Astro.Warriors, seek and destroy the space target. Sounds working. It looks like the beat ship is back to life. Now this one... Some galactic defender you are, space audit, another enemy ship destroyed. Huh. Too bad, space audit, try again, I devour coins. I mean, the whistling sounds a little bit louder, but I don't know. I think that's just the way it sounds, I guess. I don't know. This is a different game board anyway. This chip seems to be working. I'm going to let it go for a little while and come back. All right, so maybe this was what was wrong with the with this board initially. See this garbage and crap? I actually, now I kind of remember um, this on one of my earlier videos. So this B chip is not perfect. Something Something's definitely going on with it. Just film this here. And I know it's not the game board. <laughs> Just watching the... Wacky. Watching the intro here. Yeah, the scrolling graphics, see? Weird. I might play it a little bit more, I'm not sure. If you can see there, I went through the whole game, or the whole first four le levels, and now I'm on Space Captain. See the weird, the weird graphics that it's causing. And that is just the custom chip. Okay, just to, I put it in test mode just to see if the, all the the, sp the lights are lighting up correctly with this custom, and they are. So, just something weird going on in that custom chip. Damn, I wish people would reproduce that. But everything else looks okay. All right. Okay, last test for this video. Um, game board two, I believe. Yeah, game board two. Put chip A in there in X3, B in X2, um, and we'll see if it works. I have a, I suspect that because this is probably putting some garbage out on the data bus somehow, that this is going to cause problems. But we'll see. That's my theory. That even having it over here and knowing that the audio outputs are working or seem to be working, it's going to screw something up because it's putting junk out on the data bus. All right, board right two, back. A and B in there. Let's see what we got. Oop, did I turn it on? No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, looks, yep, see? Just having that bad chip in there causes this problem. Which is why, when you see stuff like this, remove variables, take out one of the custom chips out of X2 on the game board, um, and then swap them around until you just get... Okay, player button. I am not working on SS. So, the audio part's working right, but there's something with that custom that's putting out junk, you know what I mean? That's screwing up the graphics. But the audio, let's see, that's what, it just drives me freaking crazy. Yeah, you Too bad, space audit. You cannot escape the Dorfian robots. I guess that little, um... What was it? That little whistling noise, I guess, is normal. 
I don't know, somebody can comment whether they think it's something else. Yeah, that's unfortunate. See, just that custom chip, even if it's in X2, is causing problems. All right, that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to wrap up the video. The moral of the story is baking the chips had no impact. Using a Dremel, I've proven it in a previous video, does make sure the chip legs are clean. That can have an impact. Um, but And then also, uh, if you see weird graphics issues like that or sound issues, try swapping and removing the customs in X2 and X3. So... All right, that's it, guys. Till next time. Cheers.